Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on Morgan County's B106. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network this afternoon from Greg Brock Field on the campus of Mountain View High School in Loveland. Under windy conditions and 28 mile an hour winds, it's another Longs Peak League clash. As the visiting Fort Morgan Mustangs take on the Mountain View Mountain Lions, I'm John Beltran. We'll do our best to make sure our broadcast is not interrupted somewhat or compromised by the wind. 59 degrees at first pitch. The Mustangs picked up their 10th win of the year as they defeated Mountain View on Tuesday, 8-2. to two. And this wind is arriving and leaving. It is very fierce at times. For the Mustangs, batting first is the center fielder, Briggs Wheatley. Shortstop, Braden Fajardo hits second. Batting third is the third baseman, Frank Ortega. The cleanup hitter is Jesse Campa. Batting fifth, the left fielder, David Keller. Antonio Velasquez, the catcher, hits sixth. The DH, Charlie Langford, bats seventh. Second baseman, Joseph Layden, hits eighth. And right fielder, Colin Farley is the ninth hitter. Defensively, James Deal is at first. The second baseman for Mountain View is Jacob Mraz. Nick Garcia third. Aaron Bauman is the shortstop. In left field is Logan Nicholson. The center fielder is Keenan Kaufman. And right is Connor Patrick behind the plate. Dalton Bartholomew. And on the mound, four wins on the season for Jaden Bowser. And here is Wheatley. Well over 400 most of the season. And the pitch from the right-hander is a fastball for a strike on the outer half of the knees. No balls and one strike. And the pitch and that fastball tails away. One and one. And the kick and the pitch. Swung on and lifted foul and out of play off to the left. Yeah, Wheatley hitting 439. One ball and two strikes. Hitting from the left side is the senior right fielder. Bodie Wheatley is making the start for the first time this season for the Mustangs. A freshman on the hill and the pitch. Swung on and chopped right side. An easy play for the first baseman, Deal. He steps in the bag, and there's one down. That'll be one down for the shortstop, Brayden Fajardo. Fajardo having a huge year. Man, what a season batting 537, leading the team. Wind and pitch, and the fastball is down and in. A ball and no strikes on the senior shortstop. Nine wins for Mountain View, 10 wins for the Mustangs, looking for the season sweep. And the pitch swung on and popped into right field. The wind is blowing left to right, and to his right is Connor Patrick, and he reaches out and makes the catch, shy of the 350-foot sign, two down. And that is definitely the direction of the wind from left to right that we've seen so far, even during fungos. Frank Ortega will now bat. Ortega hitting 395 out of the number three hole. 390 straight away here in Loveland. That's a fastball up and in. One ball and no strikes. Mustangs are back at it. They still have quite a few league games left. Two against Burton next week. They have Severance and Frederick and the offering. Outside edge for the strike. One and one. One with a fastball there with two down and the base is empty. And the right-hander to the plate. Curveball is a beauty right on the outer half. It's one and two. One ball and two strikes to Ortega. Bartholomew lays down the sign and Bowser to the plate. Swing and a miss and a pitch up and away. And the Mustangs are retired in order as we head to the bottom of the first. Fort Morgan does not score and the Mountain Lions are coming to bat on B106 and the Eastern Plain Sports Network. Let's get to the starting lineup here for Mountain View. Batting first is the second baseman, Jason Braz, left fielder, Nogan.
Logan Nicholson at second. The shortstop Aaron Bauman's in the third position. The catcher hits fourth. That's Dalton Bartholomew. Nick Garcia, the third baseman, hits fifth. Right fielder Connor Patrick in the sixth position. The pitcher Jaden Bowser hits seventh. D.H. Caden Meyer bats eighth. And James Deal, the first baseman, hits ninth. The Mustangs defensively have Jesse Camp at first. The second baseman is Joseph Layton. Frank Ortega's at third. In between him is Braden Fajardo at short. The left fielder is David Keller. In center is Briggs Wheatley. The right fielder is Colin Farley. Behind the plate is Antonio Velasquez. And Bodie Wheatley making his first start, not his first appearance, his first start. No one loss record. He should have one win. I don't know why that one win's not up there in relief against Roosevelt in the 2-5-5 ERA. Wind and pitch. And that is a strike. Took something off it on the outside corner. No balls and one strike here to Jacob Mraz. Wheatley, a control pitcher. He's been very good so far. The pitch swung on and popped up in the infield. That is near the second base back. Pajardo calls for it on the second base side. Makes the catch. And again, that wind blowing left to right, but Fajardo, the shortstop, took control. And there's one down. Here is Logan Nicholson. Nicholson was 0 for 3 on Tuesday. Wheatley gets the sign and the offering. And that's a strike. Man, he's throwing a lot of off-speed stuff on the inner half at the knees. No balls and one strike. And in wind like this, when the ball's hitting the air with the off speed, you're gonna see lots of fly balls. The pitch, swung on and grounded a short. Fajardo plays it and then picks it up and he's got no play. He misplayed it right off the heel of his glove and he commits his sixth miscue of the season. Fajardo let that pl ball play him. It jumped up on him. Mountain View as a base runner for Aaron Bauman. Bauman had a home run on Tuesday in the fourth inning off starting pitcher Frank Ortega. The stretch and the offering. And that is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. He's got to play the defense behind Wheatley. He's not going to register a ton of strikeouts. He's a good, solid control pitcher. And as soon as that ball was hit, it was taking that, a true hop out there. Then it, Fajardo really wasn't sure whether to back up or charge it. And it takes a little bit of a tricky hop, but it is an E6. One ball and no strikes, the offering. And that is down and away. And that's the way rally starts sometimes when you have some defensive miscues. Two balls and no strikes. Let's see if the Mustangs can come back from that. One out, one on bottom of the first inning. No score in Loveland at Greg Brock Field. Greg Brock was a major leaguer for the Brewers and Dodgers. The pitch, and that's a strike with a fastball at the knees. On the outer half, it's two balls and one strike. If you get Bauman out, you can really neutralize a good portion of this lineup. Bauman has really been hitting the ball this year. And step off by Wheatley. Bauman hitting 349. That's actually third on the team. Jacob Mraz hitting 547, and they got him out. The pitch, runner goes, swung on and fouled off to the right. And the count is at two and two, and you can hear that wind. We do everything we can to just cover up this microphone when the wind just kicks up to those 30 mile an hour winds. Two balls and two strikes to Aaron Bauman. The Mustangs at double play depth. Yeah, everybody covered up here in Loveland. The sun is out, looks beautiful. And again, first pitch temperature was 59 degrees, short lead at first. Wheatley to the plate, and that is over but low. Count is now sitting at three balls and two strikes to Aaron Bauman. Well, let's see now if Nicholson might be taking off, but he's got a short lead over there. An ideal situation for a hit and run. Wheatley stretches, Wheatley pitches. Swung on and grounded into left field for a base hit. It was a hit and run, but Nicholson has to hold up at second because Keller was charging out there in left field. So he wouldn't have gone any further anyway if it was a traditional just stay at first and then go. Here is Bartholomew.
Dalton Bartholomew one for three on Tuesday. And now Mountain View with a threat in the bottom of the first inning on their home field. The Mustangs in the gray uniforms and Mountain View in all white. Looking back is Waitley at second, the offering. And that is just a little bit up and in. Thought he had a strike with a changeup. One ball and no strikes. A pop-up for an out, an error, and a base hit. Wheelie again looks back to the plate. Swung on line, foul off to the right. Got it in on the hands. The count is level at one and one. Such a critical game for Fort Morgan. They could go up to second place in the Longs Peak League or fall to about fifth. Severance is the leader right now. Fort Morgan still controls their own destiny to win this league. The pitch and the breaking ball is in the dirt and blocked by Velasquez. Not sure how many breaking balls you want to throw in this weather. Two balls and one strike. Nicholson, the lead runner at second. Bauman at first. Big lead at second. Wheelie to the plate. Runner goes. Swung on and fouled at the plate. That would have been a stolen base for both of them. Two and two. And it's going to be easier to run on Wheatley than it is on Bowser because Bowser is throwing more fastballs. Two balls, two strikes. Nothing, nothing bottom one, but Mountain View is threatening. The stretch and the pitch swung on and foul to the screen on the hanger. Count remains at two and two. telling you, this hitter doesn't even move from the box. Bartholome didn't even move after that. He's not sitting there playing footsie outside the batter's box. He's ready to hit. 2-2 pitch. Inside. Bartholome didn't move there either. Had it been further inside, it would have hit him. It is three and two with one down and two on. To the right-handed hitting catcher, Dalton Bartholome. Velasquez lays down the sign. Looking back is Wheatley and the pitch. Swung on and fouled straight back. That's a good pitch there, but Bartholomew got underneath and stayed alive in the count. We'll do a three and two again. And the first thing you think about with all these pitches is the pitch count. Are the runners going to go here? Nicholson looks like he's about to take off. Wheatley looks back, the pitch. Up and away in a fastball, and the bases are loaded. And Nick Garcia will now step to the plate. He was 0 for 3, although he did not strike out. Garcia hitting 320 going in. And this is the other thing. When the inning begins with an air and you've got a freshman on the mound, that's a big ask to come back from this unscathed. A double play would be perfect here. Velasquez sets up on the outside corner of the pitch, swung on and chopped over the mound, and charging as Fajardo fields, throws to first, that'll be in time scoring a run as Nicholson crosses home plate. And Mountain View leads one nothing at the bottom of the first inning, but there is two down. Not a double play grounder there. And two runners are in scoring position for Connor Patrick. Patrick was 0 for 1. And that pitch is in a dirt block by Velasquez. One ball and no strikes. Got to get this out here. He can make this a 3-0 game if you're Fort Morgan. Not in the first inning. And the 1-0. And that's in the dirt scooped up by Velasquez again. Two balls and no strikes. That's an unearned run allowed by Bodie Wheatley. Here's the kick and the pitch. Swung on and tapped foul to the screen. It's two balls and one strike. I mean, he's attacking the zone. Out of the windup with two down and two in scoring position. One nothing Mountain View. 
They have just one hit, but they have a run. And the offering. And that's a strike, a beautiful pitch on the outer half. Two balls and two strikes. And he's got movement on those pitches. Even the base hit the left field. It's just a roller through the infield. Velasquez lays down the sign. And the 2-2 pitch. The breaking ball is outside. Jaden Bowser, the seven hitters on deck. Three and two to Connor Patrick. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Gets him on a 3-2 pitch, striking out Patrick. And the damage is limited. One run on one hit. There was an error and two left in scoring position. An inning complete in Loveland. It's Mountain View 1, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 at the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back with you here from Loveland as we head to the second inning. Fort Morgan trails Mountain View 1 to nothing. It'll be Jesse Campa. Followed by David Keller. Campa, the senior, has lifted his average to 327. As he steps in against the right-hander, Jaden Bowser, who retired the Mustangs in order in the first, including a strikeout of Frank Ortega to end the frame. So here's Jesse. Jesse was hovering in the 200s and has picked up his game offensively. Yeah, Fort Morgan on Tuesday probably played their best game of the season. There were no errors defensively. They had timely hitting. Frank Ortega solid through five innings with seven strikeouts. The pitch by Bowser is a fastball for a strike on the outer half at the knees. And Bowser's bringing that fastball. The Mustangs got to be ready and hit the ball on the ground. All right-handed hitting lineup for the Mustangs, except Wheatley. Swung on and lifted a right field. Connor Patrick barely has to move. He's shading the sun with his glove. Now he makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. That'll bring up Keller hitting 350. Four up, four down so far. Not just a bank in Colorado, they're Bank of Colorado, a proud supporter of local sports and academics. That is Bank of Colorado. And the right-hander to the plate. That's a strike at the knees. Wow. I guess the knees are now located by the ankles. I mean, that looked pretty low from here, but then again, we're high atop Greg Brock Field. At the top of the stands and the offering. Down and away with a fastball. The count levels at one ball and one strike. One down, top of the second inning. Mountain View leads 1-0. an RBI ground out that scored the run and the pitch and that is inside barely missed it's two and one Mustangs were swept in two very close games by Mountain View a year ago now looking to sweep Mountain View this year the pitch swung on that has popped into foul territory on the first base side and I think they're going to run out of room and in fact Deal didn't even see it it hits off the top of the pole and then ricochets into the batting cage. Two balls and two strikes. Yeah, Deal was nowhere close to that ball. It kept, that's, uh, it's a high sky. And a high sky basically means no clouds or very few clouds. And the ball gets lost in the sun. Deal's going to need some sunglasses out there at first base. Well, I think he's got them, actually. He still couldn't see it. Two balls and two strikes to David Keller. The left fielder digs back into the right-handed batter's box. And Jaden Bowser to the plate. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. It was a half swing, made him look bad. It was in the dirt. Bartholomew will throw it Keller. And that is strikeout number two for Jaden Bowser. There's two down. Antonio Velasquez checks in, hitting 261. And he's up there with the bases empty. Yeah, that was a nasty breaking ball thrown by Jaden Bowser. The wind begins to kick up even more. The pitch, and that's in the dirt block by Bartholomew. One ball and no strikes. And so many talented teams, but no team really stands out. I mean, Severance is the leader at 9-3 and three in league play, but 
They're very beatable. Roosevelt beat them handily, and that pitch is inside with a fastball. Two balls and no strikes to Velasquez, and Bowser, a tall right-handed hurdler. He's got a big presence on the hill for Mountain View. And he kicks and delivers. Swung on and grounded left side. The third baseman, Garcia, fields, fires to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning as Velasquez is retired. Another 1-2-3 by Jaden Bowser. To the bottom of the second we go in one minute. Mountain View 1, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Mountain View leads Fort Morgan one to nothing. I'm John Beltran as we head to the bottom of the second inning. It's seven, eight, and nine. Jaden Bowser will step in for Mountain View. He had a base hit in his three at bats. It was a double, in fact, into the left center field gap on Tuesday in Fort Morgan's eight to two win against freshman right-hander Bodie Wheatley. 25 pitches deep in the first inning. The run he allowed was unearned. So here we go with the left-handed hitter and the right-handed pitcher, Jaden Bowser. And with the way the Fort Morgan Mustangs have been neutralized at least almost the first time around the order, might have to play some small ball to get somebody on base because Bowser is looking sharp. Wind and pitch, and it's a strike. Boy, what a change up there. On the outer half, it's 0-1. Just really pulling the string is Bodie Wheatley. The kick and the pitch, and that's down and away, and the count levels at one and one. In the home half of inning number two. Velasquez lays down the sign in the pitch. That's right there, beautiful pitch. I mean, he's painting that beautifully. Perfectly on the outside corner at the knees. And again, this is all speed at its best for Wheatley. The one-two offering. Swung on and chopped the second. Late in charges, gloves, throws, one out. Bowser got down that line, but not quick enough for the chopper he hit out there. That'll send up Caden Meyer. And Meyer, I don't believe, batted on Tuesday. Meyer hitting 241 out of the eight hole. And the pitch, that is a strike on the inside corner. Bell tie, it's 0-1. The ball gets away. Now during warmups, we saw some of the caps go flying. Yeah, this is not, this is not Riverdale Ridge back on, what, March 15th, the pitch. And that is on the outside corner for a strike. And I shouldn't say March, it was much more recently than that. Yeah, it was April. Boy, I'm trying to think what day that was. The beginning of the month. And the offering. And that is a strike three right there at the knees. Down the middle, called strike three. Strikeout number one for Bodie Wheatley. Yeah, Meyer thought that thing was going to sink and it stayed knee level. And there's two down. Yeah, April 5th, so that would have been... And today is the 29th, so three and a half weeks ago. That was fierce, and it was much colder. The pitch, a swing and a miss. That was a check swing on a breaking ball in the dirt. 
No balls and one strike. Wheatley's got this team off balance now. He had him off balance in the first inning, but they still were able to scratch across a run. And the offering. And the breaking ball's a strike on the inside corner. Wow. Now, Bodie Wheatley has settled in very nicely. Off the plate now is Deal. Down at no balls and two strikes. Wheatley to the plate, and that is in the dirt. Good pitch there. He had Deal thinking about it. One and two. Wheatley gets the sign and the pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right. He fisted him on that particular pitch. It remains at one ball and two strikes. One nothing Mountain View with two down of the bases empty in the bottom of the second inning from Loveland. And the pitch. Swung on and lifted to left field. David Keller on that fly ball comes in a few steps. Now to his left, and he drops the ball. Oh, man, he reached out with one hand. you got to make that play. That is two errors against Fort Morgan, a routine. Uh, the wind didn't play much with that one. And he just dropped the ball, never really got completely under it. So the inning is extended. Second error by Fort Morgan. Here's Mraz, who popped to the shortstop for Jardo. I don't, he didn't look fooled from here. I just don't think he got completely under it. And then he kind of stuck his glove out. So here we go. The stretch. And the pitch. And that's upstairs. One ball and no strikes. This is what Fort Morgan did not do on Tuesday. They were error-free. And now one error in the first and one in the second. Let's see if they can get out of this. The pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner. Took something off it. And the count levels at one and one. Yet it is a challenge for the outfielders today. No doubt about it. I mean, you have to really get underneath that baseball. It's a challenge for both teams. One ball and one strike. Short lead at first for Deal. Throw back to first back in diving. You can see that the wind will increase in intensity at times. Raz awaits, and that's up and away. Throw to second, is up the second base side, and that's going to skip into center field. Wheatley's going to charge that baseball, and now the runner takes off for third. That was a throw that was not even close to the bag. And again, the wind is blowing left to right. The air is going to be on Velasquez, the third air of the game by Fort Morgan, and it's 2-1 and one now. Deal ends up at third base. Out of the windup, and the pitch, way outside. 3-1. and one. Now, Wheatley's throwing very well, but he's not getting defensive support so far. And the offering swung on and fouled to the backstop. Jammed him with that pitch. Three balls and two strikes. Mounds and View looking to add to the lead. It should have been a 1-2-3, but Wheatley trying to bail out the miscues. Velasquez lays down the sign. And the offering swung on and lifted into left center field. Keller is now going back, and he's going to make the grab. Boy, that one he fought with as well, but David Keller, a nice job. And he's able to put it away and no damage done in the bottom of the second inning. Four Mountain View, no runs on no hits, two errors, and a man left at third, two complete. Mountain View one, Fort Morgan nothing on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. One nothing Mountain View. We move to inning number three. It'll be the bottom of the order for the Mustangs. Here comes Charlie Langford. Jaden Bowser has faced six hitters and retired all six. And the Mustangs have allowed just a run despite three miscues in the field. Mountain View has just one base hit, so still, obviously still early anybody's game. Langford hitting 319 will be followed by Joseph Layden. Layden hitting just under 300. Swung on, that ball's hit slowly on the ground, and it goes back into fair territory and then dropped there by the pitcher. Bowser, that'll be a base hit. I don't think he was going to throw him out. That started off in foul territory, and it took a major side spin. 
And that's going to be a base hit. He doesn't throw him out if he feels it cleanly. First hit for Fort Morgan. Brian, I don't think he gets him there. That ball was hit just a few feet up the line. Here is Layden, the stretch. One step lead at first, the pitch. And that is in the dirt, blocked by Bartholomew. Man, I don't think I've ever seen that pronounced of a roll. It was literally about, geez, I'd say about close to a foot foul. And then just took this incredible side spin, had major English on it. One ball and no strikes to Joseph Layden. And the pitch. Fastball is up and in. With Colin Farley, who had a big game on Tuesday on deck. Colin hitting 226, but he was in the 100s. Mountain View with a 1 0 lead in the third. One on, nobody out for Fort Morgan. Layden in a hitter's count. Bowser to the plate, and that ball nearly hit him. 3 0, that's all it takes. You get a little dribbler like they got, and you're going to turn this lineup over and perhaps score in the inning. Three balls and no strikes to Joseph Layden. Again, Langford with a very conservative lead at first. The offering down the middle for a strike with a fastball. Ball three, strike one. Mustang sitting, I believe, in the teens somewhere in the RPI. Again, a short lead. Swung on and driven into the right center field gap. That's going to be trouble. They won't get to that baseball. Rounding second is Langford. That ball's all the way to the fence. Langford's going to be sent to the plate. The throw is going to be made towards third. And that slide and the slide is going to be in there. It's going to be a triple for Joseph Layden. A bang, bang play at third as Garcia applied the tag. Langford scores and the game is tied at one in the third inning. Man, did that thing take off from Keenan and Kaufman in right center. And Layden with a triple, driving in a run. And here's Farley. Joseph Layden has now driven in 14 runs. And that thing was placed perfectly in that right center field gap. And it was hit towards center, but again, with the ball moving left to right, there was no shot for Kaufman, the pitch. Fastball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. That was a heck of a throw there by Jacob Mraz. The second baseman, he had no chance at the plate, but had a good chance at Layden, who had that head first slide. Swung on and chopped left side. That's going to score a run deep in the hole. It's Bauman throw to first is going to be late. It's an infield hit for Colin Farley. Crossing home plate is Layden. And the Mustangs have back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back base hits and lead in the third inning, 2-1 to one in Loveland. You've got a single, a triple, and a single. And now they turn the lineup over for Briggs Wheatley. And you can feel the energy in the Mustang dugout, even though we're quite a distance away. Runner going, that's taken for a ball. Throw to second is right there. And Farley's going to be out by a mile as he slid on the outside part of the second base back. I don't know if that was a missed sign or something. Coach Langford and Colin having a brief conversation. Yeah, something was missed because that didn't look right. He was out by plenty. One ball and no strikes. Caught stealing, goes two to six. And the pitch. And that goes to the screen, up and away. It is two and oh. Here to Briggs Wheatley. Wheatley chopped one to first, in the first. And the offering. Swung on, and this is chopped to second. And backing up to his left, side arming to first for the out is Jacob Mraz, two down. Wheatley is 0 for 2, and here comes Braden Fajardo. That would have advanced Farley to second. That was not a play that would have been made to second. Fajardo popped to right in the first inning. Yeah, that right center field gap, that's the one you have to exploit like Joseph Layden did. Fastball, a strike on the outer edge at the knees. It's 0-1. Two down of the bases empty, top of the third. Fort Morgan has taken their first lead of the game. It's 2-1 in Loveland. And the pitch and the breaking ball is a gorgeous pitch at the knees. It froze Fajardo and it's 0-2. 
Now balls and two strikes, shortening up that swing. The pitch, way outside off the glove of Bartholomew to the backstop. One ball and two strikes. And the Mountain View run had a rally start with an air. And the Mustang rally start with a little 10-foot dribbler. The pitch, breaking ball, that's a called strike three on the inside corner. And Fajardo strikes out, but the Mustang scored two runs. And Fort Morgan scores those two runs on three hits. There were no errors, and the bases were left empty. Two and one-half innings are in the books from Greg Brock Field on the campus of Mountain View High School in Loveland. Fort Morgan looking for the season sweep leads Mountain View by a score of 2-1 to one on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. And the pitch is down and away to begin the bottom of the third inning. I'm John Beltran. Fort Morgan leads Mountain View 2-1. to one. And the hitter is Logan Nicholson. He reached on the air by Fajardo and scored the only run. The pitch swung on. That is grounded to Fajardo at short. Charges, plays it off his glove, and then kicks it with his right foot. Fajardo with a second air in three innings. And Nicholson reaches to begin the bottom of the third. And the Mustangs have been awful today defensively with four errors. That'll bring up Aaron Bauman. And I hate to be that harsh, but the numbers dictated. The pitch, swing and a miss on a pitch up in the zone. It's 0-1. Bauman with a base hit to left field has the only base hit in the game for Mountain View. Remember, Fort Morgan had a ton of errors against Northridge when they lost in Greeley 17 to 12. This is not going to be that type of game, but the pitch runner goes up and in. Velasquez throw to second. It's right there, the tag, and out at second base on a perfect throw. Velasquez nails Nicholson as late and applies the tag, and there's one down. And one ball and one strike. What a perfect throw. Credit Velasquez. He made the adjustment from his previous throw, which sailed into right center field. And the pitch. And that is down and away. Two balls and one strike. I mean, that was on the money as the tag was applied. That's the way you make up for miscues. And the offering swung on that has popped up right side. This could be an adventure along the right field line. Farley looking for the baseball, makes the two-handed grab. That's a nice play by Colin Farley. Man, that baseball was swirling along the line, and there's two down. Yeah, now two outs here for the number four hitter, Dalton Bartholomew. He walked and was stranded in the first inning. To the plate in the dirt, scooped up by Velasquez on pitch number 50 by freshman Bodie Wheatley. 31 strikes, 19 balls. The Mustangs, by the way, 18th in the RPI, thanks to Ryan Nickel for supplying me with that info. Anytime I don't know something, Ryan is there to pick me up. And I'm not that heavy, so it kind of helps. Two balls and no strikes. <laughs> I mean, I'm full, but that's not body weight. And the pitch swung on and grounded to third. Nice stab by Ortega. He throws low to first and scooped out by Campa. Oh, man, two excellent defensive plays on the short hop. And then on the air and throw, Campa made a tremendous play at first base. That's on two ends there. And that's the way you play defense. And the inning for Mountain View. No runs, no hits. There was a Mustang air, but the bases were left empty. Three complete in Loveland, Fort Morgan two. Mountain View 1 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Fort Morgan leads Mountain View 2-1 to one as we move to inning number 4. The meat of the order for the Mustangs, Frank Ortega, looks to get it started. And he will be followed by Jesse Camp and David Keller. Joseph Layden with an RBI triple followed by Colin Farley's infield single. 
That has accounted for the two runs for the Mustangs. Well played ball game despite the win. Not perfect though. Fort Morgan's got to really pick things up defensively. Four errors in the game, all committed by the Mustangs. But Mountain View has stranded three runners, and Fort Morgan has stranded none. Frank Ortega struck out his first time the pitch, and the breaking ball's down the middle for a strike at the knees. No balls and one strike to the senior third baseman. Nuts just made a nice stab over at third base, and then Jesse Campa dug out the throw. The offering way outside, backhanded by Bartholomew. The count evens at one and one. I don't know if the temperature's going up or down. I have no idea. I just know the wind is. The pitch in the dirt. Let's see. Ryan told me 28 miles per hour northwest winds to begin the game. It's got to be close to the same, but there might have been a slight adjustment. And the offering swing and a foul at the plate. Or did it even make contact with the, the baseball? It just skipped away. Yeah, I'm not sure the ball and bat made contact. It just went off the the foot of the catcher. 58 degrees, 27 mile an hour wind. So not too far for the first pitch. 2-2. Two -two. Inside with a fastball. That barely missed. And it's three balls and two strikes. Here to Frank Ortega to lead off the fourth inning. 2-1 to one, Fort Morgan. Bowser steps off because that wind is starting to kick up again. And it's blowing from the left side to the right. Third to first, left to right. The pitch, way outside. It's a walk. And Frank Ortega is on for the first time for Jesse Campa, who popped to right in the second. And you got speed on the bases now. Be nice for Frank to get a head start here. The Mustangs did not intend to play small ball when they scored the two runs, but it was a swinging kind of weird bunt there by Charlie Langford. La back to first. Frank's back in standing. And of course, as big as this game is today for Fort Morgan, the bigger news will come later today when Trey McBride, the 2018 graduate, is drafted. And man, they've got him going to one of like four or five different teams based on all the mock results. Swung on. That is fouled back. No balls in one strike. The mock drafts all changed. I've seen him going to Tampa, to Green Bay. And uh, as the ball gets away in the outfield, somebody's got to get that baseball. They don't even spot it. Somebody's got to get that baseball. There you go. There's a baseball loose in shallow right field. And then there was one mock draft that has him going to the Broncos, which I think that's a long shot. The Broncos have the 64th overall pick, the final pick in the second round. No balls and one strike to Jesse Campa. Two to one, Fort Morgan top of the fourth inning in Loveland. Two-step lead for Ortega. Throw back to first. He was leaning, but he's back and diving safely. Frank was going there. That's a good move over there by Jaden Bowser. We'll do the 0-1 pitch again. Shorter lead this time. Go back to first, and that one is dug out by Deal as he applies the tag. Nothing doing. Mountain View had the lead after the first inning. The Mustangs countered with those two in the third. We're in the fourth. Bowser back to first again. Yeah, Frank's lead is not that big, and he has not leaned at least towards second the last two times. Now balls and one strike. He's moved over there three consecutive times without a pitch. Bowser to first again. Frank back to the back. Still no balls and one strike to Jesse Campa. I get through the entire sponsor list before the next pitch is thrown. Here it is, down and away. Two balls and no strikes, and that's what happens to a pitcher sometimes when you concentrate on that runner, or check that one and one. I said one and oh, it was 0 and one, now one and one, so 
I guess I fell asleep there. One ball, one strike. One on, nobody out. The pitch. That is a strike with a fastball in the outer half just above the knees. One ball and two strikes to the number four hitter, Jesse Campa, 0 for 1 in the game. And Campa knows how to protect. This could be a good situation for a hit and run. What is Frank going to do over there? The pitch. Swung on, lined, and off the third baseman's glove into shallow left field. It'll be picked up by Bauman. We'll score that a base hit. That thing was scorched. It was scorched off the glove of Garcia. So we'll call it a hit. Unless Brian decides differently. You like that as a hit, Brian? Yes, I think it was a hit. I mean, that thing was hit very hard. Right around the shoe tops. Now the funny thing, if that's a two bouncer hit that hard, that's an error, but a line drive. Here is David Keller struck out swinging his first time up. Let's see if Coach Langford has him playing small ball, hitting away. Four hits for the Mustangs now. Bowser looking in for the sign. Runners take their leads and he, yeah, Keller steps out. You can hear right through the microphone how that wind, even with me covering up the wind as much as possible, that it's a factor and it affects both the hitter and the pitcher, even more so the pitcher when it's blowing left to right and you're a right-handed pitcher. Looking back as Bowser squaring to bunt, and that pitch is up and in off the glove. It's going to be a called strike, but on the wild pitch, the runners advance. It's 0-1 now, and Keller doesn't have to bunt now. No balls in one strike. Yeah, it didn't pull the bat back in time, but it, it accomplished everything by moving the runners up. Ortega to third, Campa to second. The infield is playing in with a 2-1 to one Fort Morgan lead in the top of the fourth. The stretch by Bowser and the offering. And that's up and in. Nearly clipped him. One ball, one strike. How special would it be if Bodie Wheatley could pick up a win in his first varsity start as a freshman? Not sure the last time that happened. Freshmen rarely pitch on varsity. And the offering. That's up and away. I mean, we're still not even midway through the game, but if Fort Morgan can really stretch out this advantage, that increases the chances for your freshman right-hander. Two balls and one strike. To David Keller, two on, nobody out of the fourth. Two to one, Fort Morgan, the pitch. Up and in, it's three and one. Now with Velasquez on deck, he's got to get the ball out of the infield. He is a double play candidate. It happened, we were talking about that on Tuesday, and early in the game with one out and the bases loaded, he grounded into a 4-6-3. So Antonio's gotta drive the ball in the outfield. 3-1 pitch, and that is low, and the bases are loaded on the walk to David Keller. And Antonio grounded to third his first time up, and the ball was hit well, but you, you can't do that here. A grounder in the infield will more than likely turn two. And we'll have a visit to the Hill. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen and his team at State Farm Insurance are there to make the insurance world easy for you. A longtime sponsor of Morgan County Athletics, thanks to Greg Mullen at State Farm Insurance for his patronage. The entire infield convenes, as do the base runners for Fort Morgan in foul territory along the third base side. As the Mustangs are occupying the third base dugout, a big situation in the game. Mountain View looking to keep this tight. Fort Morgan looking to really stretch it out now. Bases loaded, nobody out. Two to one. And Antonio Velasquez will now bat against right-hander Jaden Bowser. From the stretch. The lead runners Ortega third, Camp at second, Keller at first. And now time is called by Velasquez. Man, you could just see the jersey and even the backside of the pants just blowing all over. The, it looks like a loose fit there by Jaden Bowser, a real loose fit. The pitch swung on and that is chopped out in front of the plate. It's underhanded at home for the outs. 
And that's going to be it for the force at home. Ortega's eliminated on that chopper right out in front of the plate, fielded by the pitcher, Jaden Bowser. One to two on the fielder's choice. The bases are reloaded, but now there's one out. Well, at least it was not a double play. And there was nobody covering first, by the way. Had somebody been covering first, it could have been a double play. Charlie Langford had that swinging bunt single to begin the rally in the third. And now the infield's a double play depth. There's a courtesy runner at first to pitch. Swing and a foul at the plate. Levi McCoy has got tons of speed. The courtesy runner for Fort Morgan at first. Camp at third, Keller at second. Charlie Langford looking for a big hit. Bowser gets the sign from Bartholomew. No balls in one strike. And to the plate. Breaking ball is a strike. Wow. Man, Josh Langford and Charlie Langford can't believe that. It looked like it was dug out of the dirt. Man. I mean, we're hot, but yeah, I can't believe that was called a strike. I mean, dirt came up on that from the glove. Now it's 0-2. The pitch swung on and grounded right side. That's going to be a tough play for Mraz to his left. Fires to first for the out, but a run scores camp across his own plate. Keller to third and McCoy to second. Fort Morgan leads three to one. And that was an outstanding job of just sticking out the bat and bouncing it to the right side by Charlie Langford. What a great job of hitting. He knew that he was in a major hole there. That'll set up Joseph Layden, an RBI triple in the two-run third. The offering. Swung on line, base hit right field. One run's going to score. Rounding third is McCoy. The throw's going to be made towards the plate. It is cut off and sliding hit first is Levi McCoy. It's a two-run single for Joseph Layden. He's got three RBIs in the game. And the Mustangs lead 5-1 to one in the top of the fourth inning. Man, Joseph Layden. Right field hitting. Layden's average was 292 going in. It's over 300 now. The Mustangs have five runs in the last two innings, and Colin Farley's at the plate. Farley had an RBI single in his last at bat. Swag and a miss and a fastball up and in. A two out damage there. Uh, pitch. That's a fastball for a strike. Western Engineering Consultants, another outstanding sponsor of Morgan County Athletics. For all of your consulting needs, Western Engineering Consultants. Thanks to Chad Cox and the crew out there. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Colin Farley strikes out, but it's a good inning. An excellent inning for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. Three runs on two hits, including a two-run single from Joseph Layden. No errors and a man left. Three and one-half innings have been played from Greg Brockfield and Loveland. The score, Fort Morgan 5, Mountain View 1 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Nick Garcia takes the pitch down and in from Bodie Wheatley to begin the bottom of the fourth. And the offering. That is a strike with an off-speed pitch at the knees. Garcia grounded to the shortstop. Fajardo driving in a run. The only run for Mountain View. Fort Morgan leads 5-1. to one. And the offering. Swung on and tapped foul on the slow breaking ball along the third base side. And the count moves to 1-2. and two. Five, six, and seven in the Mountain View lineup. Wheatley to the plate, and that is off the glove of Velasquez on a pitch over but low. Two balls and two strikes. Yeah, the hitting star today is Joseph Layden, an RBI triple and a two-run single. And that two-run single came with two outs. The pitch, 
Swung on and popped foul and out of play. One with the off speed, giving chases Ortega, but it's well out of play along the third base side. Let's check the numbers here on Bodie Wheatley. As he gets ready for the 2-2 pitch, Wheatley 57 pitches deep, two strikeouts, one walk. Swung on, popped up, shallow center field. Let's see who calls for it. Fajardo is out there, and he makes the catch going to the ground. Braden Fajardo makes an athletic play. One out. That was hit in what they call no man's land. And Braden Fajardo made sure he was the man that was there to occupy that piece of territory. Connor Patrick struck out swinging in his first plate appearance. One of two strikeouts generated by Wheatley. And the pitch. And the slow breaking ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. Wheatley's so composed. I mean, I can't believe this kid's a freshman the way he's throwing. And the offering. Swag and a miss up and in. I mean, this is the definition of pitching as opposed to just throwing. And the pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. One ball and two strikes with one out. Nobody on bottom of the fourth inning. Fort Morgan five, Mountain View one. With two runs in the third and three more in the fourth. The offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch up at the letters. Patrick strikes out for the second time. And there's two down here for Jaden Bowser, who grounded a second in his first plate appearance. And Bodie Wheatley getting on a roll. Left-handed hitter is Bowser. The pitch, outside corner, strike one. That's the other thing, he is painting the edge at times. Bowser with that close stance, the offering, way outside, didn't break much there. And the count evens at one ball and one strike. Bowser awaits the pitch and here it is. Swung on and line foul off to the left. Yeah, he is driving these Mountain View hitters crazy with the off speed. One and two to Jaden Bowser. The pitch outside off the edge. Two balls and two strikes. Wow. Well, you can hear that. To speak through that is uh, a challenge. The pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch diving down and in. Second straight strikeout for Bodie Wheatley. And it's a 1-2-3, bottom of the fourth inning for the freshman right-hander. We head to the fifth. With the score, Fort Morgan 5, Mountain View 1 on B106 and the Eastern Plain Sports Network. Let's head to the fifth inning where Fort Morgan putting together an impressive performance here leading Mountain View 5-1. to one. They've scored five runs total in the last two innings. It'll be the top of the order with Briggs Wheatley. He'll be followed by Brayden Fajardo and then Frank Ortega. Against right-hander Jaden Bowser. Wheatley has grounded to the right side twice and is 0 for 2. We were at 59 degrees at first pitch, went down to 58. The sun has been in full force the whole time, the pitch, and that is low. I mean, you would think leaving Fort Morgan <laughs> with the rain and the wind there, that it was not gonna be pretty here, but it's gorgeous here other than the wind. The offering swung on and popped foul and out of play on a fastball riding in on the hands. The count levels at one and one to Briggs Wheatley. This would be huge going into the weekend for Fort Morgan. Huge with a victory here. One ball and one strike. To the plate. Outside. One with a heater on pitch number 61 from Jaden Bowser. Two and one. And Wheatley awaits the offering. 
Swung on and chopped right side. The first baseman, Deal jumps and it's off the top of his glove into right field. That'll be a base hit. He leaped and it hit the very top of his glove. And Wheatley's gonna reach. That'll be the sixth hit for Fort Morgan. Speed on the bases here for Fajardo, who has popped out and struck out. 0 for 2 in the game. Wheatley with a very short lead, a one step advantage. The pitch swung on, chopped over the mound. The shortstop cannot get it. Bauman into center field for a base hit just beyond his reach. The second is Wheatley. Fajardo now one for three. And the Mustangs have something cooking, and we might have a pitching change in this top of the fifth inning. Let's see what is going to transpire here. Yeah, that was either going to be a double play or a base hit. And it was a base hit, and that thing had been hit a little bit closer. We will have a pitching change, and we'll take it with them. It's Fort Morgan 5, Mountain View 1 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. James Deal is the new pitcher for Mountain View. Let's see the other changes. It looks like Logan Nicholson is now going to occupy first base. And Jaden Bowser. Oh, Jake Walker's in left. He was the starting left fielder on Tuesday. So those are the changes there. The Mustangs with a 5-1 to one lead. They've chased Bowser after Bowser allowed a base hit to Wheatley and another one to Fajardo, although both were plays that were almost made. A chopper by Wheatley off the top of the glove of the first baseman, Deal, who's now on the mound, and then that chopper up the middle that Bauman almost got to. Frank Ortega has struck out, walked, and scored. He's 0 for 1. And stepping out is Ortega. Deal is a left-hander. He did pitch on Tuesday in the 8-2 victory as Logan Nicholson took the loss there. The offering down and away. One ball and no strikes for Logan Nicholson, or check that, for James Deal, his 10th appearance already in a 5.15 ERA. And the pitch, and that's in the dirt, dug out by Bartholomew, it's 2-0. Oh, the Mustangs now with something cooking here, and Jesse Campa on deck. Two balls and no strikes. If Frank could go the other way, he's gonna run forever. The pitch, and that is a strike with a fastball at the knees on the inner half. Two balls and one strike to Frank Ortega. Five to one, Fort Morgan, nobody out, and two on in the top of the fifth inning from Loveland. Deal looks back, deal to the plate. Swung on and lifted into left field. Let's see what Walker can do with that. The wind is playing tricks with that. He comes in, he makes the grab, and there's one down. Yeah, he settled underneath that nicely despite just coming into the game. The runners have to hold. And Jesse Campa popped out and singled and he also scored. He is now the hitter. The wind is as strong as it's been the entire game. Not letting up. Deal stretches to the plate. Swung on and tapped foul to the screen. No balls in one strike. Yeah, it comes and goes. That's it. Dying down a little bit. And anytime you hear some noise through the microphone, that's just either the wind or me trying to deflect the wind. At the belt. And the 0-1 pitch. Here it is. Swung on, grounded left side. That's a base hit into left field. Wheatley's going to round third as the ball goes off of the shortstop. Aaron Bauman, and it's 6-1, to one, the RBI from Jesse Campa. Yeah, Bauman got to it as Cap went flying. And the second is Braden Fajardo, and the Mustangs have scored for a third consecutive inning. Here's 
David Keller struck out and walked. And Keller did score an inning ago. The offering. Swing and a miss at a fastball at the letters. No balls in one strike. The Mustangs scored two runs in the third after the first six were retired. Charlie Langford had a swinging bunt, and that got the rally started in the third. Three more in the fourth, one here in the fifth. The pitch. And that's all the way to the screen off the glove of Bartholomew on the pitch up and away. Runners to second and third. Keller up there with a 1-1 count. You've got to play the infield in, I would think, now. You've got to play it in. You're down by five runs in the fifth inning. You don't want to allow any more. With Velasquez waiting to hit next. Antonio's got the shin guards on. I'm not sure why. There's only one out. Pitch is upstairs. Yeah, you could take those shin guards off now. I mean, the, the chances of Keller hitting to, into a double play are almost slim to none. Second and third with one out. Two balls and one strike. And the pitch. And a check swing. Strike. Fastball at the knees. Two and two to David Keller. Off of third is Fajardo. Camp at second. The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got fooled on the off-speed. Keller strikes out for the second time in the game, and there's two down. Antonio Velasquez has grounded a third and hit it to a 1-2 fielder's choice in the fourth. He's batting for the third time here in as many innings. Well, actually, for the second time in four innings. And now, time is called again. From refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between, they have exactly what you need and service it too. B&B Appliance and Repair. That's B&B Appliance and Repair. The pitch swung on and fouled back. On a fastball in on the hands, it's 0-1. To Antonio Velasquez, the Mustangs have had base runners and runs in the last three innings after being neutralized early. No balls, one strike, one across. Two on and two down in the fifth inning. Fort Morgan leads Mountain View and Loveland, six to one. And the pitch, and that's in the dirt. Nice block by Bartholomew as the ball skips away, but only a, a couple of feet, if even that. One and one, I think Mother Nature wants us to leave. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I have got my hand all over this mic and just trying to Work our way through it. One ball and one strike. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, but the ball gets away. And here's Fajardo. He'll score the pass ball to third. Is Campa and the Mustangs lead seven to one. Two across in the fifth. Fort Morgan gets a break on the pass ball. And Velasquez still up there with a one ball, two strike count. Deal looks in, and the pitch swung on and fouled straight back. Remains at one and two. Again, a fastball in on the hands to Antonio Velasquez. One ball, two strikes. Laying down the sun is Bartholomew. The pitch swung on that is popped up on the right side along the first base line and going over and trying to basket catch it and making the catch, I believe was the catcher and it was Bartholomew. He deflected it to himself. He deflected it to himself and Bartholomew makes an outstanding play to end the top of the fifth inning. However, the Mustangs are back on the board. Two runs on three hits, no errors and a base runner left. Four and a half are in the books. It is Fort Morgan 7, Mountain View 1 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Fort Morgan 7, Mountain View 1. We progress to the bottom of the fifth inning in Loveland. And Bodie Wheatley 
has thrown a masterpiece, a one-hitter. That base hit came in the first inning from Aaron Bauman. It'll be 8-9-1. and one. Caden Meyer, James Deal, and Jacob Mraz. And on top of that, Wheatley struck out the final two Mountain Lions of the fourth inning. The pitch. And he bounces that all the way to the catcher. Kind of aimed that pitch. Pitch number 68 for Wheatley. One ball and no strikes. There's activity in the Mountain View bullpen. And the offering. And that is off the glove of Velasquez. 2-0. and Connor Patrick is warming up there for Mountain View. The pitch, and that is down and away. Only one walk so far for Bodie Wheatley. Three balls and no strikes. The right-hander gets the sign and the pitch. That's right there, down the middle for a strike. Three and one. Wheatley ready. The offering swung on and tapped foul along the third base side. Three balls and two strikes. The Mustangs trailed one to nothing after one, and they've controlled the game since the third. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. His third consecutive strikeout coming back from a 3-0 and fanning Caden Meyer on a pitch on the outer half, and there's one out in the bottom of the fifth inning. And James Deal is at the plate. He hit that fly ball that was misplayed and left. One of four Mustang errors early in the game. What a job by Bodie Wheatley. The pitch swung on, popped up into foul territory. No, now it's drifting fair maybe. And the ball's going to land inside the line along the right field line for a base hit. Campo went out, the second baseman Layden, and then Farley, they all converged and nobody made the play. It scored a base hit. Again, you hit the ball in the air, then you wonder what's gonna happen. I was kind of describing it in a way that I'm not sure where that ball was going. It landed just inside the line. Jacob Mraz is lined out and popped out. Remember, hitting over 500 going into this game. Only the second hit allowed in the game by Bodie Wheatley. The pitch swung on and lifted foul off to the left. Way out of play. It's 0-1. Fill up your cooler and gas up your car. Stubs, gas, and oil. Easy and convenient. Make them the only stop you need on your way to the big game. Stubs, gas, and oil. The stretch. Throw back to first. Back at diving his deal. Towing the rubber now is Bodie Wheatley. No balls, one strike, one out, one on. Fort Morgan seven, Mountain View one in the bottom of the fifth inning. The pitch up and away. That levels the count of the ball and a strike. This would be win number 11 if the Mustangs can secure it. Eight outs to go. The pitch, that's up and away again. Kind of rushing his delivery on the last two pitches. Two balls and one strike. Wheatley could go the full 110 if necessary. He's at 77. Two and one here to Jacob Mraz. Short lead at first. The pitch, swing and a miss on the changeup. Two and two, he's locating very well away to all these hitters. Two balls and two strikes to Mraz. On deck is Logan Nicholson. At the belt, looking back with a runner at first. The pitch, swung on line, base hit, or did it hit the runner? I hit the runner, oh man, it's an out. Now that scored a base hit, but it nailed the runner, James Deal. There's two down, but it is scored a base hit. That's the way you score that one. Let's see if we... Uh... There 
there is two down as deal is eliminated looking for the thing that says other maybe it's other here on the scoring throw back to first back in diving the mustangs catch a huge break yep there you go hit by ball and what that means and that pitch is a strike That means Jesse Campa gets a put out on a base hit. He's the closest player. Logan Nicholson has reached on an air twice. And a pitch up and in. That was the hardest hit ball by Mountain View by Jacob Mraz. And again, he does get a single, but with the ball nailing, I think the, the lower leg of the base runner at first. Mustangs catch up, break the pitch, and that's down and away. Two balls and one strike. This is the number two hitter in the lineup. You get him out, then you face the heart of the order in the sixth. The wind has let up at times, but not now. Short lead at first. Nicholson awaits. Bodie Wheatley to the plate. Up and in. Bodie has fallen behind hitters in this inning, but somehow is just a couple of pitches away from getting out of this, or maybe one pitch away. Three balls and one strike to Logan Nicholson. Two down a man at first, seven to one Fort Morgan. And the offering swung on line down the right field line. That is fair, and that is headed into foul territory. Farley's going to chase it down. He'll get the ball back in. They're going to hold the runner at third, and it's second and third with two down. And that is a double by Logan Nicholson. And Mountain View has three hits in the inning. Can't emphasize what a good play that was by Farley out there in right field. If he doesn't get to that baseball quickly, that would have scored a run. But now you have to deal with Aaron Bauman, who singled and popped out. Out of the windup, second and third with two outs. The pitch, and that is just inside. Oh, man, Bodie Wheatley thought he had strike one, but it's a ball. One ball and no strikes. And now Wheatley having a conversation with a field umpire, and it might have been about that last pitch, even though it's the field umpire. I don't know if that's a sportsmanship conversation or not. Velasquez lays down the sign. Aaron Bauman awaits the pitch. And here it is. Swing and a miss. Took a hard swing at that pitch on the inner half. Count evens at one and one. We have played one hour and 26 minutes of Winfield baseball. The pitch. Swing and a miss again. Oh, he's out in front of that pitch. It's one and two. Bodie can stick with that pitch. He's got Bauman fooled right now. Let's see, can he pull this off and get the Mustangs to a sixth inning with a six-run lead? And the one-two. Swung on and grounded on a high hop to the shortstop. But Jardo throws the first for the out. And Bodie Wheatley gets out of that jam in the bottom of inning number five. No runs for Mountain View in the inning. Even though they generated three hits in the inning. No errors and two left in scoring position. We have played five innings. The Mustangs are six outs away from a season sweep of the series. It is Fort Morgan seven, Mountain View one. You are listening to Mustang Baseball on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back in Loveland. At Craig Brock Field, where the Mustangs lead 7-1. to one. Who sings that song? I think it's Bob Seeger. Against the wind. I feel like I'm against the wind right now. And the pitch. That is a strike to Charlie Langford to begin the inning. Langford with a single and a ground out. One for two. He scored a run. The left-hander now steps off. 
Deal operating from the stretch with the bases empty. Fort Morgan has scored in the last three innings. Three in the third, two in the fourth, two in the fifth. Seven to one in the sixth, the stretch. And the offering, and that's up and away with a fastball. Count levels at one ball and one strike. And the pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. It is one and two. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing a text from my buddy John. I wonder if he's pulling my leg as to his geographical location. And the pitch up and away with a fastball. The count levels at two and two. The line score reads as follows. Seven runs, eight hits for Fort Morgan. They did make four errors in the first couple of innings. One run, four hits for Mountain View, no errors. The Mustangs have left two. Mountain View has stranded five. The stretch and the offering. Swung on and grounded right back to the mound. And Deal picks up the baseball, throws the first for the out. One out. I wish I was on a beach right now anywhere. I don't care where it is. I'm telling you right now. There is nothing inside my nose anymore. It is all deposited somewhere. Not to sound too graphic. Here's Joseph Layden. This kid has been incredible with an RBI triple into right center and a two-run single. Deal. Deals. Swing and a miss. On a pitch down and in. It's 0-1. No balls and one strike. Laying down the sign. Bartholomew the pitch. Swing and a miss again on a pitch down and in. Well, he did get those base hits off the starter, Jaden Bowser, the right-hander. Now facing the lefty and James Deal. No balls, two strikes. And the offering swung on and grounded. Foul down the third base side. He nearly pulled off a third hit. Pulled his hands in and was able to stroke it, but it's foul. 0-2 to Joseph Layden. Waiting to hit next is Colin Farley. The bottom of the lineup is who started the rally in the third inning. To the plate, swung on and fouled off to the right. One with a fastball down and in. And the count is at uh, two and two. Oh, and two, excuse me. Well, happy special anniversary to John and Amy Prouty. They're just behind me and my wife. They're at 20, my wife and I coming up on 22. Try to think what we did for our 20th. The pitch, swung on and driven into the left center field gap, going back as Walker reaches out, and it's over his glove. Around first is Layden. He's headed for second. He's got a triple, he's got a single, and now he's got a double with one out in the sixth inning. Joseph Layden is three for three. And that'll bring up Farley, who has singled and struck out. Colin Farley as, did we have a change there with a courtesy runner? I don't think so. Layton's still out there at second. What a game he's had. And he was down to the count at 0-2. He just fouled off a couple of pitches. The stretch and the offering. Swing and a miss. Why, I did see, I did see one of my sons today, Chase Prouty, playing nearby. And he's doing very well, very well. Very happy. That's all I care. That's And he's safe. That's all we care about. No balls and one strike. I'm giving a full family update during the game. The pitch. Swing. And I'm missing a fastball down the middle. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes. Farley awaits with Wheatley on deck. Looking back at the left-hander deal and the offering. Swung on and fouled. Got the edge of that baseball. Remains at 0-2. That was the same count to Layden before he unleashed into left center. The Mustangs have nine hits in the game. A third of those are by Joseph Layden. No balls and two strikes. Layden with about a four and a half step lead. The stretch, Farley awaits. Left-hander deal delivers. 
Swung on that is lifted in the infield on the left side. Who's going to call for it? Charging the third baseman. And Garcia dives. It's off his glove late into third. Nobody's there. That'll be a base hit. That should have been caught by the pitcher. Deal. Garcia kept coming and the wind kept blowing it in. And he had to dive. Oh, my gosh. That's about a 45-foot base hit. And the Mustangs have 10 in the game, first and third. And that was wind-aided. And Garcia thought he had an easy play, and he kept charging and had to dive. I mean, when do you see that? And alert base running by Layden as third base was unoccupied. Briggs Wheatley has grounded to first, grounded to second, and a single to right. He's one for three. Lefty against lefty. The pitch. Swag and a miss and a fastball away. No balls and one strike. The stretch and the offering. And that one's in the dirt, but scooped up by Bartholomew. Oh, man. What a beautiful setting. What a beautiful setting. One and one. And I'm not talking about here, although it's a gorgeous day. Just a lot of wind. First and third. Deal to the plate. Swung on and chopped foul along the first base side past the dugout occupied by Mountain View. It's one and two. Fort Morgan played a tremendous game on Tuesday. Outside of the early miscues defensively, playing just as solid today. Late in at third, Farley at first. One, two to Wheatley, the pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt. Did he foul it off? Yep, he did get a piece of it. He got the top of the baseball. He stays alive. Just got a piece of the baseball. That's called a, a reprieve or a mulligan in golf. Deal steps out and steps off. One ball, two strikes to Briggs Wheatley, seven to one. Fort Morgan, the pitch, swing and a miss. He was fooled on the breaking ball way out in front. Wheatley strikes out, he's one for four. Two outs for Brayden Fajardo who has popped out, struck out, and delivered a base hit. His base hit chased the starter, Jaden Bowser, for the game. The last time Fort Morgan did not score was in the second inning. Brayden Fajardo looking for a big two-out hit. The stretch. And the offering, and that's in the dirt, and now a delayed steal there by Farley. Throw to second, and now the ball gets into center field, and breaking for the plate and scoring easily is Layden. And the Mustangs lead 8-1. to one. That's going to be the first air committed by Mountain View. On that throwing air. So a big break there for Fort Morgan as they score again. And Fajardo up there with a 1-0 count now. Bodie Wheatley, who has thrown a tremendous game, is gonna be the courtesy runner for Farley. That might mean one thing, that, may, that might mean Farley is gonna come in for Wheatley. That's my guess. I thought I saw number two out there. I don't know if Brian's checking that. Oh, is running? Okay, it's not Wheatley. The pitch in the dirt. All right. Yeah, that would make less sense. All right. Let's see who the courtesy runner is. I don't know. I don't have a 21. Two balls and no strikes. I have to look at my original lineup. Pachardo awaits the pitch. And here it is. Swung on and grounded foul along the third base side. Let's see. Let's see. Let's chase this down. Let's see the original lineup. Oh, it is Mosqueda. That is the 21. Yeah, in football, too. I should have known that. Two balls and one strike. So Mosqueda's at second, 8-1 to one, Fort Morgan. Two down, top of the sixth inning. And deal to the plate. And that is down and in. Three balls and one strike.
three and one. Here at Braden Fajardo. And stepping off the rubber is James Deal. Mustang six outs away, up by seven. Digging back in is Fajardo. Ahead in the count. And the pitch. And that is a strike with a fastball at the knees. Three and two. Yeah, yesterday had a game in brush and it was beautiful. An hour and 10 minutes and it was 79 degrees at first pitch. Pretty similar on Tuesday, but today we're back to April. And that is low, it's a walk on a 3-2 pitch on a fastball below the knees. That'll bring up Frank Ortega. Ortega in the game has struck out, walked and popped out. He's 0 for 2. And looking in is deal to Ortega. The pitch, that's a strike, a beautiful breaking ball in the inner half. No balls in one strike. The wind is relentless, the pitch. Down and in, scooped up by Bartholomew. And the count levels at one and one to Frank Ortega. All of a sudden, the game has slowed down a bit. Mustangs have one across, two on and two down at the top of the sixth inning, up eight to one. Deal gets the sign. Belt level with the glove, looking back, looking back a second time. Now to the plate. Swung on and grounded foul along the third base side. One ball and two strikes. Is that the rule? Once it hits past 5.30 local time, you just, this wind just, oh man. This baby is relentless. The pitch, swung on and grounded slowly along the third baseline. There won't be a play there. Garcia charges, he's gotta eat it. It's a base hit for Frank Ortega to load the bases. And this will set it up for Jesse Campa. So right now, Mosqueda's at third, Pajardo at second, Ortega at first. Campa has two base hits in the game, including an RBI single. Are we gonna have another pitching change? We're gonna have another pitching change. Yep. We'll have our second pitcher of the inning and third of the game for Mountain View. Let's take a break. Bases loaded, top of the sixth inning. It's Fort Morgan eight, Mountain View one on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The right fielder, Connor Patrick, is the new pitcher. And James Deal is back to first for Mountain View. Yeah, I'm not sure who's in right. Yeah, Nicholson's in right, okay, that makes sense. Again, thank you to Brian, I need help in more ways than one. Jesse Campus two for three. Eight to one, Fort Morgan bases loaded, two down in the sixth inning. Here's the kick and the pitch. And that's a strike with a breaking ball on the outside edge. Oh, and one to Campa. Joseph late in the offensive star, Bodie Wheatley doing the job on the hill. And the offering, and that curveball is on the inside corner, it's 0 and two. Here to Campa. Wheatley at third. That's uh, check that. That's uh, Mosqueda at third. Fajardo at second. Ortega at first. Connor Patrick, the right hander to the plate. In the dirt, blocked by Bartholomew. One ball and two strikes. Bartholomew lays down the sign. Looking for another hit as Jesse Campa's got two and now time is called. Uh, it looked like an umpire. 
the umpire called time there, not the hitter. Because uh, Patrick was starting his windup. One ball, two strikes, two outs, and the bases loaded. And the offering. And the breaking balls are called strike three. Kappa strikes out to end the top of the sixth inning. A rare strikeout of Jesse Kappa, but the Mustangs played another run. They do it on three hits, one air, and the bases were full of Mustangs at the end of that half inning. Five and one half are in the books. It's Fort Morgan 8, Mountain View 1 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Bodie Wheatley remains on the mound for the Mustangs in the bottom of the sixth inning. 88 pitches deep. Fort Morgan leads by a score of 8-1. to one. And the first pitch is a ball to Dalton Bartholomew who's walked and grounded out. Wheatley to the plate. And that is low, 2-0. and oh. Bodie Wheatley has struck out five in the game. He's been in control with only one walk. The pitch swung on and lifted to center field. That's got some carry. Wheatley's going back. Oh, he misjudged it completely. And it takes a bounce against the top of the fence. Rounding second is Bartholomew headed to third. And it's a sliding triple to begin the bottom of the sixth inning. Briggs Wheatley completely misjudged that baseball, and he didn't take off until it was sailing over his head. But it is a triple. Here's Nick Garcia, who's grounded out and popped out. 0 for 2. Out of the windup. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded on one hop to Fajardo. He'll settle to throw to first for the out. The run will score, and that's the way to play it if you're Fajardo because the Mustangs still have a huge lead. It's 8-2. to two. Give the RBI, the second RBI, and a ground out by Nick Garcia's Bartholomew scores. Mustangs down to now five outs to win this thing. Connor Patrick has struck out twice. And the pitch. And a check swing. He did not go. It's 1 0. One ball and no strikes. Swung on and chopped up the middle. The shortstop for Jardo. Nice play behind the back. Fires to first. And that is an out. Two down. Great play by Fajardo. An athletic play behind the bag. Two down for Jaden Bowser. And now, is there a debate at first? Are they going to have a conversation? That's going to be an error if they're going to reverse that call. That would be an error. If the foot was pulled off the bag. And safe. That'll be a Fort Morgan error. Instead of an out. So they appealed the call. And Patrick reaches on Fort Morgan's fifth air. And that probably just scored on Fajardo again. The throw was a little bit wide and pulled Camp off the bag. One on, one out. The offering. And that's a str- oh, ball. Wow, I thought that had the corner. Jaden Bowser's grounded out and struck out swinging. That's the lone bugaboo for the Mustangs is their defense in this game. The pitch swung on line. That's a base hit into center field. That will advance the runner, Patrick, to second. The throw behind the runner. Patrick back to second. It's a base hit for Jaden Bowser. All of a sudden, Mountain View is establishing some momentum. And Wheatley is running out of pitches. He's up to 96 Now, Caden Myers, the hitter, he has struck him out twice. 8-2 Fort Morgan. Two on and one out in the bottom of the sixth inning. The stretch and the pitch swung on and fouled to the backstop. You know, you feel you've done something for 
three or four hours, even though it's an hour and 53 in. The stretch. Open stands for Meyer. Throw back to first and a close play, but back in diving. As Camp applied the tag is Jaden Bowser. Tried for that little back pick there. That might be, let's see, that could be a courtesy runner anyway over at first. To the plate. Swung on and driven. Foul and out of play down the right side. Kappa gives chase, but it's on top of the batting cage. No balls and two strikes to Meyer. Yeah, Mountain View is just two or three hits away from getting right back into the game. With two on and one out and one across at the bottom of the sixth inning, the first time they scored since the first. The offering high. Nice play by Velasquez. That was headed towards the backstop, and he jumped and was able to bring that baseball down. Can Wheatley get through the sixth inning? He's at 99 pitches. The offering swung on and tapped foul on pitch number 100 down the third base side. Count remains at one ball and two strikes to Caden Meyer, the number eight hitter in the lineup. James Deal is on deck. The stretch and the pitch inside. Oh man, Meyer could have let that hit him. It was close enough. Had he not moved, that could have loaded the bases. Yeah, this is a big hitter here for Bodie. You load the bases here, and I think Coach Langford makes a change. Two and two. Wheatley has gone five and one third inning so far. Very effective baseball, and now time is called. This game headed for the two-hour mark. Velasquez again lays down the sign and the pitch. Swing and a miss on a pitch up and in. He strikes out Meyer for the third time in the game. And two down. James Deal aboard on an error, and he's also singled. Deal is one for two. This could be the last hitter he faces at 102 pitches with two outs at the bottom of the sixth inning. And the offering, and that is upstairs. Yeah, ideally, you want to get this hitter out. If not, you're summoning in a pitcher who's got to be in there with the bases loaded or something like that. And the pitch, that's a strike. On the outer half, it's one ball and one strike to James Deal. Eight to two for Morgan, bottom of the sixth inning in a windstorm. And now it feels like a windstorm. The offering swung on and tapped foul to the screen. One ball and two strikes. For anybody at this game, two or three bowls of soup might do it. And maybe not eating it, maybe swimming in it. And the pitch. Swung on and popped up along the third base side. Frank Ortega at fair territory makes the grab. With the wind swirling that baseball all over the place. And the Fort Morgan Mustangs are going to take a six-run lead into the seventh. Mountain View capitalizes on an error. They get a big double. And they strand a couple of base runners as Bodie Wheatley has pitched six strong innings for Fort Morgan with the score. Fort Morgan 8, Mountain View 2. It's a one-minute break on B106, B106.com, and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's head to the seventh inning. Fort Morgan leads Mountain View 8-2. to two. David Keller will lead off for Fort Morgan against right-hander Connor Patrick, who got out of a bases-loaded jam, coming in for James Deal in the sixth inning. Keller has struck out, walked, and struck out. He scored a run. 0 for 2, or one minute shy of 6 o'clock Mountain Time. This is Morgan County's B106. KPRB, Brush Fort Morgan. 
We're on the web at B106.com as well as on our on the TuneIn app, B106 on TuneIn, all part of the Eastern Plains Sports Network with stations across Northeast Colorado and Burlington as well. And the fastball's a strike on the inside corner to left fielder David Keller. Brian, has that temperature dropped? I'm, I'm <laughs> Brian might check it for me here. The pitch, swag, and a miss at a fastball down in the zone. It's 0-2. 59 at first pitch, 58 by the second inning. Maybe maybe the wind chill. That might be the uh, thing that feels like it's dropped. And the 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, and the ball gets away, and Keller's going to reach as the ball was in the dirt. It's a strikeout. So... Keller has struck out three times, but he's going to reach as that ball skipped away. And that'll bring up Velasquez. Antonio has grounded to third, hit into a 1-2 fielder's choice. And he's popped out to the catcher, Velasquez, at 0 for 3. The stretch. Throw back the first, Keller back in diving. Get your project started the right way with buildings by design. Here's the stretch at the belt and the offering. And that bounces in, scooped up by Bartholomew. One ball and no strikes. We're in the top of the seventh inning. Fort Morgan leads Mountain View with nobody out. Eight to two. Velasquez with a close dance awaits the offering and that is up and away this was the final score by the way on Tuesday the same exact score that Fort Morgan won by is the lead right now two balls and no strikes one step lead for Keller now stretches it out the pitch and that is low down and in 3-0 and Three balls and no strikes to Velasquez. We'll see who the pitcher is in the seventh inning for Fort Morgan, the offering, and that's over for a strike at the knees. Three balls and one strike. In the top of inning number seven, we're keeping an eye on Trey McBride yet to be drafted today. Throw back to first, and the ball skips away, and it's headed down the right side, and rounding second and going to third is Keller. Well, that's actually going to be scored a stolen base because he was taking off, and then an air on the pitcher. Well, Fort Morgan with a huge break there. That would have been an issue there. Keller would have been caught between first and second, but... He is credited with a stolen base because he was taking off for second. And the offering. That is a strike. Three and two, but the second error of the game committed by Mountain View. This one on the pitcher, Patrick. The wind and pitch. Swung on and tapped out in front of the plate. Charging is Patrick. He'll field. He'll throw to first. Keller holds a third. Velasquez is out number one. Well, that will give Charlie Langford the opportunity to drive in another run. He drove in a run with a ground out earlier in the game. He's also singled. He's one for three officially. And watch out because Joseph Layden is on deck. He has hit three quarters of the cycle to pitch. Swung on and fouled to the backstop. No balls in one strike. Charlie Langford here in the seventh inning. Fort Morgan leads eight to two. And the pitch. Breaking ball is grounded to second baseman. And they're going to go to the plate, the slide, the tag, and Keller is going to be out. What a play there by the second baseman, Mraz. And the tag is applied by Bartholomew. The fielder's choice goes four to two, and there's two down. And Langford now at one for four. That four to two fielder's choice. Joseph Layden, and now we have a courtesy runner. That's that should be Wolf out there. 
Luke Wolf, the courtesy runner at first. Well, actually, it will not be Layden. Uh, 22. I got to see what 22 is. Brian might be able to find that for me. Is that Serna? I wonder if that's uh, the pitch. That is. Not sure if that's Serna there. No balls and a strike. Yep. All right. Serna now hitting in that spot. Yep, it is. Yeah, I, I found the number here up and in. Count leveled at one and one. Two down in the seventh inning. Fort Morgan leads eight to two. Well, this might be the first time they haven't scored since the second inning. Three in the third, two in the fourth, two in the fifth, one in the sixth, one in the seventh. The stretch and the pitch. Swung on and grounded into right field for a base hit beyond the diving first baseman deal. To second is Wolf, and Daniel Serna has the base hit for Fort Morgan. The Mustangs' 12th hit of the game. Colin Farley, a single twice, driven in the run, and he struck out as well. Two for three. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is up and away. A ball and no strikes. I don't want to lose my water. At the belt is Patrick. And the pitch. High again, 2-0. and And on deck is Briggs Wheatley. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, actually, Wheatley is not on deck. They got somebody else on deck. And the pitch swung on and hit in the air to the first baseman deal. He'll make the catch on the little pop-up on the right side. And that does it for the Mustangs here in the top half of inning number seven. No runs for Fort Morgan on one hit. Mounds and View committed their second error of the game and two left. We'll have a new pitcher. When we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, we'll tell you about the new pitcher. It is Fort Morgan eight, Mountain View two in Loveland on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Jesse Campa is the new pitcher. Briggs Wheatley moves to first and Levi McCoy's in center. Camp will try to close it out after a masterful performance by Bodie Wheatley. He'll face the top of the order of the Mustangs, lead Mountain View and Loveland eight to two. Jacob Mraz followed by Logan Nicholson and Aaron Bauman. The Mustangs going for the season sweep of the series. And the right-hander to the plate and the breaking balls up and in. Wheatley was just over 100 pitches. I think at about 105. We'll recap that momentarily. And the 1-0. That's up and away. Two balls and no strikes. Here to Jacob Raz. The pitch. That's a strike. On the inner half, it's two balls and one strike. Laying down the sign is Velasquez and the pitch. That is just a little bit high. Three and one. Three balls and one strike to Mraz. Mraz has popped out, lined out, and singled. Now he walks. Pitches up and in. Not a good start for Campo in the bottom of the seventh. Here's Nicholson, who is. Been on base three times, two Mustang errors, and he laced a double into left center. Jesse Campa has had issues closing games out. He's got good stuff. Couldn't close out the game at Riverdale Ridge. Frank Ortega had to do that, and that is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Then there was the Northridge game. 
That was a home game that Fort Morgan lost 14 to 13, but he's got a six run cushion throw to first, dug out by Wheatley. You just throw strikes and rely on your defense and get out of this even if you allow a run or two. And the pitch. That's a beauty right there by Campa on the outer half. It's one and one. Yeah, Campa is definitely a gamer. He will battle. He will not give in here. One ball and one strike to Nicholson. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded sharply to short. Fajardo steps in the back for one. Fires to first. That's a 6-3 double play. Just like that, there's two down in the seventh. Two down for Aaron Bauman. That was a smart play there. By Fajardo, the pitch and the curveball is a strike. Bauman has singled, popped out, and grounded out. He's one for three. Campa to the plate. Fastball is upstairs, and the count levels at one and one. We will update the standings as soon as we get this game over with, with a postgame show. Curveball is down and away. Ball two, strike one to Aaron Bauman with two outs. And the base is empty in the bottom of the seventh inning. Fort Morgan leads Mountain View 8-2. to two. Campa gets the sign. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded a third. Backing up as Ortega took a tough hop on him. And it settles into shallow left field. Man, that's a tough call. I might have to call that a base hit. I mean, that thing took a huge hop on him. He had to back up on that play. We'll give him a base hit. That could be scored either way. Here's Bartholome, who's walked, grounded out, and tripled. Yeah, if he charges that, he's got a terrible hop. He backs up, he got a tough hop. I mean, there's, you can't win there. You can't win on a play like that. And the pitch, and the breaking ball's a strike. What a pitch. No balls and one strike. See, the selections are coming in. But I don't see a Trey McBride selected yet. Lobbed to first, and that's close, and they got him! Oh, a pickoff to end the game! Holy Mahungas! Yesterday, a pickoff ended the Brush Valley game, and it happens again. Picked off of first is Bauman, and the game is over. Wow. Jesse Campa just lobbed it over there. And Bauman was picked off. And Fort Morgan wins 8-2. to two. The Mustang Post Game Show brought to you by Morgan Community College. Here to make your dreams become a reality for all students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. For the Mustangs, 8 runs on 12 hits, 5 airs, 7 left on base, 2 runs, 7 hits, 2 airs, and 7 left on base for Mountain View, the winning pitcher was Bodie Wheatley going six strong innings. The loss went to Jaden Bowser, time of the game, two hours and 13 minutes. Nick Garcia's ground out in the first inning gave Mountain View a one nothing lead, but the Mustangs on a rally started by Charlie Langford were able to score two runs in the third. Joseph Layden with a run scoring triple, Colin Farley with an RBI single, and then three more in the fourth inning as Charlie had a ground out, scoring a run, then Joseph Layden had a two-run single, his second and third RBIs of the game. Fort Morgan would stretch the lead on Jesse Campa's RBI single in the sixth inning, or the fifth inning, the six to one. And then it became seven to one. Fajardo would score a pass ball, and then the teams would trade runs but the Mustangs pull it off, beating Mountain View for the second time in three days by the identical score of 8-2. to two. And that means with the victory, the Mustangs are now 7-4 and four in the Longs Peak, 11-5 and five overall. And Mountain View is 7-5 and five in league play and 9-8 and eight on the season. So the Mustangs could have gone all the way down to 5th and now they are up to number two. The Mustangs at number two in the league standings. Our next game will be on Tuesday. 
I will be in Berthoud when the Mustangs take on the Spartans beginning at 4 o'clock right here on B106. The final score once again in Loveland from Greg Brockfield on the campus of Mountain View High School. Fort Morgan sweeping the season series, defeating the Mountain View Mountain Lions for the second time in three days by the identical score of 8-2 to two right here on Morgan County's B106. B106.com and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.